Thank you for watching ACHE Southeast Texas Chapter's first ever career boosting series. Today's topic of professional organization will be discussed by Liz Flores. Liz um, received her master's in health administration from Texas State University last month. Liz, thank you for being with us today, and we would love to hear the advice you have on professional organizations for graduate and undergraduate healthcare students. That was my mute, sorry about that. Hi, my name is Liz Flores and I just finished an internship and graduated with my degree earning credit for field placement hours at Houston Methodist Hospital downtown in the medical center. I'm a member of ACHE, HFMA and had the pleasure of serving as vice president and then president of our student organization for healthcare administration at Texas State University, the Healthcare Leadership Coalition. I now serve as part of ACHE Southeast Texas Chapters Membership and Retention Committee and earn my CRCR certificate from HFMA and am also certified as a Lean Six Sigma Green Belt. In this video, we will be discussing the importance of professional organizations, not just in your career, but also for forming lifelong relationships. Professional organizations are essential in healthcare um, administration, especially during and right after a major event like a pandemic. In this industry, everything tends to rely on who you know and how well you can manage your relationships. In that regard, professional organizations can help you practice as a student member, but also help you develop those long lasting relationships that can help you with advice or even a possible career change down the line. So the first thing that I believe people seek out these professional organization memberships is for the networking. You would be surprised how many people want to help you as an early careerist. The sheer fact that you went the extra mile and took initiative to sign up for an organization geared toward shaping your career shows investment and commitment. When longstanding experienced members see this, they typically want you as their employee and in their company. This is why starting early can most certainly benefit you as a student member. You want to start making those connections really early before graduation and preferably in the area that interests you. Second, as a student, you may not have much experience in the field or you may not know exactly where you want to be once graduation approaches and professional organizations can help you with this. Take advantage of talking to people, especially those with jobs that align with your career goals. At Houston Methodist Hospital, I talked to any and everyone that would share their time with me. And by doing so, I learned a lot about what many employees' day-to-day -day workflow look like. Professional organizations like ACHE offer networking events for students and professionals alike to talk to each other. If you do not have a lot of experience or lack some of the fundamental knowledge of how a facility is broken down by department or operations, this is your chance to gain some of that insight. One crucial fact that I learned from more than one individual is that in healthcare, often you will get a job based on who you know instead of actually applying for the position. This means that you really wanna have some decent exposure so that people are aware of who you are and what you are about. When a decision maker is creating a job position, you really wanna be the first person on that decision maker's mind. Networking can help with this and professional organizations specifically offer networking opportunities. Fourth, there is no such thing as too much professional development in an industry such as ours. Professional organizations typically have a fellowship status that you can aspire towards or certificates that you can earn. Some of these certificates are relatively inexpensive for students if you know where to look. And these can set you apart from your colleagues and definitely give your resume a competitive edge. Also, student memberships are definitely cheaper. It is important to note that many professional organizations recognize the financial struggle for students and significantly decrease their membership fees. Oftentimes you get the same exposure out of a student membership that you would a normal membership. So you definitely wanna take advantage of that bang for your buck. Finally, mentors can give you perspective and tend to be lifelong relationships. 
Professional organizations offer a natural venue for you to meet and develop relation, a relationship with a mentor. Mentors can be crucial for any necessary career advice, helping you find the right path and can often become sound boards for you if you become stuck at a crossroads. Overall, professional organizations can play a huge part in any industry, and I encourage you to consider joining a professional healthcare organization as a student. The earlier you join, the more you gain. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Liz, for the wonderful advice, and we hope all healthcare students are able to take something away from this video about professional organizations. Thank you again for watching today's ACHESET's Career Boosting Bite series. Please be on the lookout for the next video in this series.